And welcome, you guys. My and name is welcome, Vermeer ladies and gentlemen. My and name I is Vermeer just make a shout out to the and ladies as well. And we are going to be battling say, welcome, the rock gym leader a lot. and the fighting but gym leader. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. The knuckle badge this is Vermeer the and Blood. I'm playing it's Omega Ruby, badge, and we're going to be battling the first gym leader and the second gym leader, Roxanne and Brawly. Brawly has the knuckle badge, and I think That's because we're now battling Roxanne. But the right now, I am leader. battling one of her apprentices. Yeah, just yet. As you can tell We're by battling the quality of her apprentices of before we get to that bad. video. And I'm bringing back my Trico, and I'm using I Beldum. Using so I just want to say, Beldum, Omega Ruby, which I got from the Nintendo event and from awesome the internet, remake, is a shiny Beldum. First it is to available to January. He holds the Mega Stone, so raise him up and he will become a Metagross and you will be able to Mega Evolve him with the shiny color. As this is my first time seeing a shiny Metagross pre-evolution. Now I just want to say Omega Ruby is just a lovely remake to the Ruby I am so used to playing it as Sapphire and Ruby were the first Pokemon games that I really got into growing up. So I would be a part of the Horn region because it's just so amazing how they put so much work into remastering this game to just look like another X and Y but a little bit better in the remake as there's so much more to be to be seen and do in this game and I do plan on doing contest battles because I did plenty of contests in Sapphire and Ruby I do plan on battling the Leaf 4 I do plan on battling every gym leader but you gotta battle the gym leaders before you can battle your Leaf 4 but anyway I'm gonna be using many different types of Pokemon for each gym leader that I am going up against right now I have a I have a Trico, I have a Wenga, I have a Zigzagoon, I have a Puchiana, and I have my Beldum, which is a total of six. And now, it's going to be time to battle Roxanne. Look at the background. Look at it, it's just so beautiful. The the carvings on the wall. Just I expect that a new you and your Pokemon get described now. You're kind of determination of determination in your battle. Determinate how you do in battle. At least I think that's what she said. Leader Roxanne with her pigtails and bow and schoolgirl outfit as she is the teacher of this town. So she teach us all the beginner Pokemon trainers. Super Sonic doesn't hit. He's going to use Tackle, which is good. If he went for Rollout, I would have been screwed, as Rollout does a lot of damage to flying types. It's super effective. So is my Water Gun. But he's sturdy, and he's going to use Rock Tomb, which takes out my Pokemon. And I'm sending out my Zigzagoon. But the funny part is, I raised my Pokemon to the point to where they won't listen to me besides my Trico. And she's gonna use potions. See, loafing around. Like in every Pokemon game, when you beat a gym leader, they say, you obtain this badge, which means now Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to you. Meaning, gym badges prove your worth to your own Pokemon. You can level your Pokemon to level 100 and never battle a gym leader. 
That would be terrible because they would never listen to you as your gem badges are proof to how much of a trainer you are. And Zigzagoon is out of it. But I just wanted to say my Zigzagoon is a fine example of what happens when you raise your Pokemon up to a certain level past the point of their limit when you don't have the gym badge to prove your worth to them. And level 10 would be the acquirement before they stop listening to you. At least in some cases. Not in all. I remember playing in Ruby when I went up against Norman the normal type gym leader, I sent over one of my Blazikens from my earlier games because I would transfer, well, I would have two Game Boys and I would have Sapphire or Ruby, one of the two. I would start that game over and over and over until I send over all three starters in one of the games. And then I would send eggs over when I start to begin the, the other game that I use to get all three stars in. Because I was a loner in school. I had a couple of friends who played Pokemon just as much as I did. But not enough to where I could organize them together to where we could trade our Pokemon. So I would have cool ways of trading and gaining Pokemon throughout all my years of playing Pokemon. My Trico speed has fallen, but nose pass won't get the best of them cuz i'm going to use mega drain and it's over rocks and so i lost it seems that i still have much to learn and i have much to gain I understand. Pokemon League rules states that trainers, please accept the official stone badge. And I was right. It is the stone badge. After all, she is a rock type gym. What else would it be named? The rubble? How about gravel? How about the gravel badge? See? Obey you. Up to level 20 will obey you. Now I don't have to worry about my Pokemon not listening to you. But if I train them all the way up to level 20, past level 20, they won't listen to me, just like my Zigzagoon did. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the first gym, because this will not stop. And be prepared, because the second gym leader is right around the corner. Look at that, he's lifting. He's flexing making moves look at this his own personal center you can tell why it's called the knuckle badge now he's got treadmills he's got by um i forgot what those things are called the um the bikes the workout bikes someone in the comments if you know what they're called please help me out versus brawly knuckle badge I want that knuckle badge. He's sending out my chop. I'm sending out Wingo. I'm going to use wing attack. Ooh. Accurate hit. Sosmic toss. Look at that. Look at that. That's the earth. I didn't know my cho my chop had the ability <laughs> to fling me all around the earth, but it's seismic toss. So it's a, it's a huge impact. And wing attack took him out. 
And he didn't even use any potions. Now, now that's a... That's a baller right there. And of course, I want my Wingo to learn Water Pulse. Level 15 is a good milestone, as of most of my Pokemon are at level 18 by this time. And yes, my Trico has evolved into Grovile. But I'm not using Zigzagoon or Puchiana. I'm gonna switch out my Wingo. I have a Kadabra. Psychic types are strong against fighting types. So I'm going to use Confusion. He's out of there. Didn't even stand a chance. Wow, he made such a huge impact. Of course I did. You got me. Take this. The Knuckle Badge. Up to level 30 will obey you. So now I don't have to worry about my Pokemon being over level 20 and not listening to me. Bulk up. It increases attack and defense. And now it's time for us to head to the cave and give the letter to Steven. But stay tuned you guys. Follow me at VTV696.